see what happens. Yeah, last night the Celtics had the NBA's third overall worst record. The Sixers actually had the second worst record at 8 and 27. The Warriors will come in with a record of 13 and 22. We're battlefield. Warriors will make a change in the starting lineup. B.J. Armstrong and Latrell Sprewell will remain in the backcourt together. Chris Mudd and Joe Smith will be at forwards, but the change necessitated by a left foot pain for Felton Spencer has Todd Footer making the start tonight. Todd Airlines, Alan Iverson and Jerry Stackhouse, the backcourt. Starting at small forward is Mark Davis, a second-year man out of Texas Tech, playing very well at 24 in their last game. Clarence Weatherspoon will start at power forward, and Michael Cage... At he could be on the floor for a lot of minutes. I think the most dangerous player for Philadelphia tonight, Clarence Weatherspoon. I think that's who the Warriors have to be careful of. Rebound. Pretty good rebounder for a guy under six, about four and a half a game. That was a good pass. Weatherspoon just bobbled it. Iverson did deliver that one. Here's Witherspoon. Knocking down an 18 with the way his team came out last night. Thought that they just were not concentrating. And that led to a bevy of first quarter unforced airs. You could tell by their play tonight and their collective demeanors that they are much more focused. The Warriors now a 12-point lead. With a spoon, not doubled this time, gets Joe to bite, goaltending. On top, like Todd Fuller did not play at all in last night's loss. Those two players have fallen out of the rotation. Well, they are in tonight. I think Rick felt that last night's game was going to be too much up and down the court. There's a block, Joe Smith blocking Davis's shot. And the ball is dumped in by Clarence Weatherspoon. Iverson really pounds the basketball. Yeah, he's it into Weatherspoon. He is the epitome of a playground player. Now Weatherspoon's going to get to the line in this one. Yeah. He'll go for a three-point play without the spoon. You can put a fork in this team, Jim. They'd be dead. Well, I said at the beginning of the game, Greg, this was the guy that was going to worry me. And I'm not talking about Lucius Harris. I'm talking about Weatherspoon. He has been their go-to guy. You can also see as he scores there, and you can really he out of Australia. He's just a rebounder. He's a guy that can really rebound. He led the Australian League in rebounding. Here's that one-dimensional offense again, but it's working for Weatherspoon. Weatherspoon had to shoot that jump hook a little deeper out than the previous shots, but he is just going off here. The spoon has 14 points this quarter. Now Joe Smith wanted to post up himself, and Spree just cleared him out. And why not when you continue to score at that? Torrid pace. In the second half last night, it was Sprewell and Joe Smith. In the first quarter of the night, it's Sprewell and Mullen. They've combined for 28 of the Warriors' 35, yet Clarence Witherspoon is hanging right with them. He has 16 himself. You know, I, I think he got 63% in the first quarter to Philadelphia's 39%. Moving their feet laterally very well and cutting off both Iverson and Stackhouse, in particular Iverson. Here's Overton, their backup point. Into Witherspoon. Eight minutes in the game. Allen Iverson. The man they call the answer has returned to play point guard. Open drills one. Finish your story because I'm I'm going to amplify your story with a little one of my own about those two. Well, let's hold on to it. A break is going to be coming up. Next stop would you play. Witherspoon dunks it. Nice. You're eventually going to open up a 20-point lead, which the Warriors now enjoy. Now it's 18. Lawrence Witherspoon. Is it 10 of 12 from the floor? He has 21 points. Witherspoon, good rebound, good pass. Stackhouse. They get out of it. Joe Smith has struck for eight of his 10 in the second quarter. And the Warriors maintaining a huge lead throughout. Are up 20 still. Now they could have used some of this luck last night. With this team now into his fifth year, but constantly. The trade rumors swirl above his locker as he just has a difficult time in this new motion attack of the Sixers. He's not a very good wing player. You only go up when you have a shot. And it results in a turnover up the floor. It results in a dunk for Clarence Willis. For the Basketball Hall of Fame, one of the nominees, Bobby Jones. There's Witherspoon, able to get the roll. Iverson with the clock down. Missed. Rebound to Clarence Weatherspoon. Footer in the air. Todd Footer was going to leave the game anyway. Diminished. Only 11 minutes of action for Todd Fuller tonight. As we say, prior to his senior year, Fuller transferred by Bobby Jones and Todd's mother, 
Sherry says that it was Bobby Jones that turned her son's and sketch. And he almost throws it away. Clarence Witherspoon with 30 points tonight. That's a season high. And Mullen will be on the line. Bob by Michael Cage. Witherspoon with seven rebounds, Jim, along with the 30 points. Watch him make an adjustment here. Watch him dribble back. Now he's got to the position and powers up. Between Mark Price and Allen Iverson, this dates back to the preseason and also their matchup a couple of weeks ago in San Jose. These two guys apparently just don't like each other. Witherspoon misses. Stepping down as coach of uh, the 49ers. That had the Warrior coaching staff real shocked. Well, that is shocking news. And I'm surprised that George Seifert did not get a contract extension. He wanted a contract extension. And I guarantee you there are other NFL clubs talking. John McClain will come in for Philly. They need one more score on the floor. Iverson into Witherspoon. He'll be on the line. John McClain is in for Davis. Mullen is in for Marshall. Also, B.J. Armstrong is in for Mark Price. Now, this is part of the problem in starting B.J. Yes, Gallivan was concerned with this. He wants Mark Price to finish games. So you'll possibly see B.J. play two, maybe three minutes. Then it may go to Price. Or if B.J. is playing well and the team executing well, there may not be a change. All your shot, 56% from the floor. And they bounce back. After losing the first two stops on this road trip, they come to Philadelphia and they drop the 76ers with their highest scoring output of the year. They had 73 points in the first half. That was the highest scoring half of the year. And they wind up with a new season high point total of 128 in their 17-point win tonight.